HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius in the hot seat again, this time under fire from the House Energy and Commerce Committee. Representative Marsha Blackburn getting her chance to grill the HHS Secretary. So what did she find out? Representative Blackburn Joyce, nice to see you. Good to see you. Um, first of all, what did you want? What information? And did you get it? Well, one of the things I wanted to know is how much money have we spent? And she has spent a little over $324 million dollars on this website but she has obligated 677 million dollars what does that and mean we that, have to pay it no matter what that's right that's what's under contract and Greta here's the thing that goes through October 31st of this year that doesn't include all the cleanup that started November 1st so we're going to be pushing a billion what, dollars on this all right, well who's been monitoring this I mean first of all who picked this contract who signed the contract who's been monitoring the outlay and who in the first place said that they could have that kind of money to spend. I mean, who, who's on? Who's taking care of this? She's Watch the it. one that says that she's in charge. Where'd she get and the money from Congress, though? Right? She got well, it you guys? she got it through appropriations. They've reprogrammed and put money together, and they have all of this under contract. This is why they run over their budgets. But now she's decided to call on the Inspector General to investigate her and to investigate this contracting process. And I asked her point blank. I said, "Are you going to make these contractors pay that money back? It's taxpayer money." And she kind of hemmed and hawed, didn't want to really but, answer that one. Greta. Not to deviate from what, what we were originally going to talk about, but this whole idea of contracts in Washington, whether it's at the Defense Department yeah. or anybody, is the most incredible. Uh, uh, I mean, what's, what the American taxpayers are being subjected to is just beyond. I mean, it there's is. been there's no policing, there's no sense of discipline, and it's billions and billions of dollars. They keep running up these bills, and then, see, we started our due diligence and oversight on this whole process back in March of 2011. Every time they came to us, whether it was the contractor, Sebelius, Tavner, whomever, they said, "Oh, we're on track, everything is proceeding." But you subpoena and documents to pass out. You put them under oath. You put them under oath. You, do, you subpoena them for the documents, and and then when they show up, you put them under oath. So if they lie, they got perjury. Any Anybody who lies under oath, That's and you right. got the docu documents to see what in the world they're doing with this. Right, and the way our process works, we do this all on the back side and that's why we are bringing her back and continue to bring her back and Henry Chow and all the rest of them but, that have but, worked but, on but, this I mean, process. Look, I blame her for this. I blame the Obama administration yeah. for this. I mean this is a nightmare all this over spent yeah. money but when you talk about oversight it's like you could have been on them like a wetsuit from day one. I mean not you per se but I mean Congress. Right and that is why back in March of 2011 we did start an oversight process in building our due diligence, our paperwork, our paper trail on everything, and that is why now we're continuing with these hearings. Uh, Chairman Issa is doing some oversight hearings. You've got Ways and Means doing some, because what we have to do is make certain that the taxpayer gets paid back for this, but also we've got to make certain that we push to eventually get this off the books. It's not working. It's too expensive to afford. And, and you know, there's no warranty. These people who take these contracts, I mean, like, if, if, you, if you bought a car that that's much trouble, you bring the car back and you get a new one. But, you know, we just keep paying and paying and paying. But anyway. I think the taxpayers are ready to support us in stopping a lot of this. Some of us have tried for years to end much of this. Nice to see you. Good to see you. And thank you for being with us tonight.